Hello everyone, my name is Mohamed Radwan. I'm a Visual Studio LM MVP and Senior LM Consultant at Marvel LM. In this video, I will slightly explain Build Controller and Build Agent. Build Service is a Windows service that configure for only one project collection. So we can only configure Build Service for project collection. We can't configure Build Service for multiple project collection. Also, we can only have one build controller per machine. So we can't install build controller, uh, multiple build controller on the same machine. We have a hack or work around to install multiple controller on the same machine. But of course, this is not recommended in production. We can only use this for a demo purpose. We can have multiple agents on the same machine. This is depend on the number of processor that we have because build agent is the doing the intensive work. So depending on the processor, the configuration will show you the number of uh, agents that we can install. Okay. So if we have here a machine that has a build controller and another machine can has build controller, we can install those. Uh, we can install two controller on the same machine so we have here a machine that has build agents we can install the build controller on the tfs machine application tier but it is not recommended to install the agent on the application tier because as we mentioned the agent doing the intensive work for building the application uh, and building the project so we don't want to slow our uh, application tier for uh, tfs so as we can see here the build controller connected to this agents also here we we have another machine that has two build agents one of that agents connected to uh, this build controller and another one connected on another build controller on another build machine so for example we have a default collection build services that configure for default collection and has one controller visual studio lm controller with three agents agent one agent two agent three let's open the administration console and review the current build configuration we can see here that we have one controller and one agent configured so let's remove this configuration to start configuring from the beginning okay i acknowledge them remove this will remove the current configuration for the build server close go to the build configuration again and we will start to configure from the beginning let's go to the windows service to review the build service okay team visual studio as we can see we only have two windows services the build not one of them Okay, let's configure, start, okay, next, retrieving the project collection, because we have multiple collections, so we have manually to select the project collections that we want to configure with, no, I don't want the configuration, the auto configuration, as we can see here, uh, the feature recommended uh, that I can create two agents, but it's recommended one uh, agent depending on the number of processor I will create two agents okay using the default service account okay configure this is the readiness to check complete next okay close we can see here now we have one controller and multiple agents but as we can go here we will find this is the build the windows services for the build service okay let's remove the configuration again and start increasing the processor okay close okay Let's review the service. We will see that this is disappeared. Okay, I will restart uh, the machine so I can increase the number of processor for that VM. 
I will log into the main VM. Okay, type my password. right click and settings go to the processor and I will start increasing the number of processor for that machine I will start the machine and close I don't need it ok and log in remote to our machine Yes. Let's go to the administration console. Start configuring the build and see how this will change. Start with okay next. Retrieving the collection, we have to select manually because we have multiple collection. Okay. Connect. No. Next. Let's see the recommended. We can see here that we have eight agents that we can doing now. Let's select four. Next, default service account. Configure. Next, close. So now we have one controller with agent on the same machine so as we can see we can create only one controller for build services and we can create build services or configure build service for only one collection but we can configure multiple agents of course we can exceed the number of the recommended agents and even the number that available agents we can install on the machine but of course we, we don't want to do that because this is will slow down the machine in the next video I will show you how to install multiple controller on the same machine but again this is not recommended in production and we just can create this in uh, demonstration purpose at the end I'd like to thank you for watching this video I would be more than happy for answering any inquiry about the content thank you